Today, I am going to teach you university problem from the queuing theory chapter. So, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So, let's see the description. At barber shop, the customer arrives at the average interval of 6 minutes and the barber takes on an average 5 minutes for serving the person. Calculate first probability of finding more than 3 customer in the system. Next, probability of finding 3 or more than 3 customer in the system. Next, chances that the customer is required to wait more than 30 minutes in the system. Next, chances that the customer is required to wait more than 30 minutes in the queue. So, now let's see how can we solve the problem. So, this is the description. Now, first, Customer arrive at the average interval of 6 minutes. So, that is called as the arrival rate. And so that I can say, for 6 minutes, one customer is arriving. And so that, how many customers will arrive for 60 minute period or you can say 1 hour. So, it is very simple, 60 into 1 divided by 6. And so that it will be 10 customer per hour. And that is denoted by lambda. So, lambda is the arrival rate and that is equal to 10 customer per hour. Next, and the barber takes on an average 5 minutes for serving. That is called as the service rate. And here it is given to you 5 minutes per customer. So, I can say 5 minutes for one customer. So, for 60 minutes, how many customer will be served? So, it is very simple 16 to 1 divided by 5. And so that you will get 12 customer per hour. That is your service rate. And that is denoted by mu. Now next. After getting mu and lambda, you have to find utilization factor for majority of the queuing problem. And you have to remember utilization factor rho is equal to lambda upon mu. So you have lambda and mu both. So, if you put it over here and simplify, then you will get utilization factor that means rho is equal to 0.833. Now, I am going to solve all these questions one by one. So, already in the previous slide, we got this value lambda, mu and rho. Lambda is the arrival rate, mu is the service rate and rho is the utilization factor. Now, first one, probability of finding more than three customer in the system. And you have to remember this formula for the probability of more than three customer in the system that is equal to rho raised to n plus 1. So, if you put the value rho as 0 0.8333 and n is given to you more than three customer. So, 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4. And if you simplify, then you will get as 0 0.482. So, this is a probability for more than 3 customer in the system. Now, next question. Probability of finding 3 or more than 3 customer in the system. So, once again you have to remember this formula. Probability for 3 or more than 3 customer in the system. That is equal to rho raised to n. So, here look at this important point. Here it is probability for more than 3 customer in the system. Whereas in this case probability for 3 or more than 3 customer in the system. So as you know that rho is equal to 0.833 and n is equal to 3. And so that you will get 0.587. So this is your second answer. Now next. Chances that customer is required to wait more than 30 minutes in the system. So, we will see in the next page. Already we have this value. So, once again you have to remember this formula. And this is the formula to find the chances for waiting time more than 30 minutes in the system. Whereas, T is the time that is given to you. So, here I am going to put the value E as it is mu that is given to you as 12, lambda is also given to you as 10 and t that is the time. So, here it is given to you as 30 minutes 
so divided by 60 then you will get in hour so i am going to write over here t is equal to 30 minute and if i convert it from minute to hour then simply you can understand it is 0.5 hour so i have put it over here t is equal to 0.5 hour and if you simplify this whole equation then you will get as 0.3678 so keep in mind that over here mu and lambda both are in hour and so that i have to put this t that means time in hour next chance is that customer is required to wait more than 30 minutes in the queue so point should be noted over here this is the chances for the system whereas in this case chances in the queue so the fourth one chances that the customer is required to wait more than 30 minutes in the queue so that is only the difference here it is system and here it is queue and for the queue this is a formula that is very simple chances for the system multiplied by rho that means utilization factor so utilization factor is 0.833 and multiplied by this value so if you simplify then you will get as 0 0.3066 if you want to see more videos on operation research then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video